landscaped or bevel? Which of these two aesthetically pleasing double-edged safety razors is best? And we're gonna find out today. All right, guys, if you know anything about this channel, you know I'm a sucker for marketing. And you know, I love to do reviews of men's grooming products. Any of them. From budget disposable razors to your more high-end double-edged razors, your vintage razor, all of them, any of them. But over the last few months, I've done a review or done reviews of two razors that have impressed me, that offer a smooth shave, that are very similar, but very different. And that's these two. Here's your Manscaped Plow 2.0, DE Safety Razor, and the Bevel Shave System Double Edge Safety Razor. Very similar, if you look at them, long handle, thin handle, very nice design, but very different as well. I love this, I call midnight black, matte black finish. Lots of knurling, great balance. And you've got this ultra modern looking silverish, stainless, sort of brushed, no knurling, but a more brushed end of the handle. They're both, in my opinion, pieces of art. Just a nice addition to your shave den if you're like me. And if you're watching this channel, you're like me. So I thought today I would pit them up against each other and do a nice relaxing shave. Beautiful. All right, guys. So they both come with their own blades, which I've loaded up. And now I'll get into the pre-shave routine, but I'll show you the lineup I'm using today. Now, Captain Will shared with me he watched a barber on YouTube that said that the Cremo lather is a great pre-shave, like a pre-shave oil. It doesn't lather up. I've never had a great experience lathering Cremo, but it's an awesome slick, like shave oil or pre-shave. So I'm gonna be using this today. This is Cremo's concentrated shave cream, the reserve blend that has notes of bourbon and oak. Just beautiful, nice slick formula. So I'll be using this as a pre-shave or a shave oil. And I'll apply that with one of my favorite brushes from the FM Brush Company, the Retro 3D Synthetic Badger Brush. It's beautiful. No badger was harmed in the manufacture of this brush. It's got this two-tiered design which kind of helps you apply the cream, makes a nice lather, uh, seamless base here, antimicrobial, just a gem of a product. I'm going to be using foam out of a can because it's my favorite, guys. Gillette's foam mousse gives you that nice barbershop feel and smell. I'm going to use Dove's face scrub. I used it in my last shave. It's really, really nice, deep clean, and it has these little beads in it, these scrubbing beads that just help exfoliate the skin. We'll end it up with Harry's Post Shave Mist to give you that nice botanical smell. And since iMoney has told me to keep the goatee, I'm gonna let the goatee grow a little bit. And there are two products I'm gonna be using today. One is a beard wash with a thickening agent. So that'll thicken that beard up. It's from Crema. It's gentle enough to use every day. And then to stop the beard itch, I'll be putting on some beard oil today. And this is from Duke Cannon, a message from the Duke. So without further ado, I'm going to get showered up and I'll be right back with the shave. Well, we're going to find out right now. I'll hop in the shower and get the pre-shave going. And my body wash selection today is Harry's Redwood. All right, guys, right out of the shower, the pores are open and I'm ready to go. I'm going to use Captain Will's suggestion to use Cremo as a pre-shave or like a pre-shave oil. Super concentrated, so all you need is a little bit. And I'm going to get my trusty FM brush, the Retro 3D. 
two tiers of synthetic badger hair. And I wet that slightly with some warm water. Do a little hand swirl of that foam. And I'll apply it to my face. Work it in. a nice pre-shave slick barrier of protection. You see that? Very thin. Now we're gonna go with the layer on top. My favorite Gillette foam mousse. So let's get cooking with that. And I'll put just a layer of foam on top. Again, Captain Will gave me this suggestion. I tried it out on a midnight shave and loved it because you like the nice, thick lather, especially for camera. Looks great on camera, but it feels good. And I don't want to throw away the cremo that I've, that I've purchased. Waste not, want not. Now also guys, at the end of this video, I'm going to be showing a full unboxing of both the Bevel and the Manscaped Plow 2.0. So if you want to see the unboxing in its raw form, stay around to the end of the video. All right. Now when I'm live, I give you guys the option. I get a little feedback, but I'll have to pick which one do I want to start with. All right. The way they're laid out. Manscaped on this side of the face, we'll start with this razor. And let's get cracking. Again, very nice. Lots of razor showing or blade showing. We're gonna take the 35 degree angle, short strokes. You hear the feedback, guys? Really nice. And although lots of blade is showing, I'm feeling very confident that I'm not going to cut myself. Feeling very protected. This is where I want to really, and you're going to really want to take your time, guys. We're not in a race. And you have two sides of the, of the double edge razor, use them both. Coming up to that goatee area. And I'm gonna leave it alone because you make mistakes on the goatee this early and it's really coming off. So one side of the face is done, very nice smooth shave. Manscaped one is in the books. Let's flop over to the other side. Our nice bevel razor. Beautiful razor. Again, we're going to go with nice short strokes. Keeping the blade wet. So right off the bat... I am noticing less contact with the blade. A milder shave, much less. And no, 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 no fear of nicks, cuts, even around the Adam's apple, guys. I feel ultra protected. Where with the Manscaped, I was a little, I had a little ginger pass. With this, I'm plowing right through. So right out of the gate, Bevel has given me more confidence. Very nice. Round one is in the books. Let's go with pass number two, cross grain. Rinse off a little bit more with some near hot water. I still feel the slickness of the cremo. 
So no need to add more. Just add a little bit more foam mouse. Nice. Feeling some stubble on the manscaped side. Let's get over to the bevel side. Ah, a comparable amount of stubble. Let's see how they perform on the cross grain. <laughs> now I'm rinsing my blades off with warm water, guys. Uh, you hear the feedback, guys? Flip that blade. And taking it right up to the edge of that goatee. Lots of feedback. Now on the cross grain on my neck, I'm letting the blade go to where it needs to go. So I'm not forcing it straight. So I'm actually sort of going at a slight diagonal. Just comes with experience. If you're forcing the blade to go where you want it to go, you're gonna wind up nicking yourself. And that second pass was nice, guys. No worries at all. But lots of feedback and lots of contact. All right, pass two with bevel. All the way up to that line. Rinsing with warm water. Very, very nice. Again, I'm struggling a little bit. Not struggling, that's the wrong word. There's very limited, in comparison, contact. You're ultra protected, guys. Nice, pass two in the books. Comparable shades so far, guys. For the against the grain pass, for pass three, I'm gonna add a little bit more cremo to the mix. Again, just a little bit. We'll pull out our FM brush. I'll do a little hand lather. Very watery, slick hand lather. Lots of water here. And I'm going to massage that in. Just because it feels so damn nice. Smells good. Oak. Bourbon. Okay, third and final pass. We're going to add a little bit more of this Gillette foam mousse. I love this product. Hard to find, guys. Being discontinued by Gillette, just because I love it. There's got to be a reason. The reason is I love it so much. All right. Thin layer of protection times two. And we're going to go with our against the grain pass. So I'm going to flip the blade upside down. I'm going to start on my neck and I'm going to shave upwards. Again, short strokes, 30, 35 degree angle. Flip the blade, you've got two sides of a double-edged blade. You hear that feedback? Oh. Very satisfying. Let's get to the neck. Take it right up to that goatee, guys. And be careful around the Adam's apple. And you can come back 
to that area, guys. So take your time. Manscaped Shave is in the books. Last pass for Bevel. Again, we'll start on the neck. No feedback to talk of or to speak of. But very easy. Protected. A little bit more conductive of heat and cold. I'm finding the bevel. So if you lay some hot water down on this head, you're going to feel it a little bit more transferring to your face. So if you like a a cool shave or a hot shave, your bevel might be a little bit better. But there we have it, guys. There we have it. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse off with cold water. I'll do a final feel test, and then I'll give you my summary or overview of these two blades. So let's do that. Cold water. Wow, that's real nice. Real nice, guys. All right. Very comparable feeling, guys. Which is very interesting because you're getting a lot more feedback and you're feeling more connection on this side. But I'm relatively as smooth on this side as I am on this side. All right, so let's take a look at the two razors and I'll give you my opinion. So for people that suffer from ingrown hairs and irritation, the bevel is the right tool for you. Provides a nice smooth shave, lots of protection. You're not gonna get into those instances unless you're pulling at your skin and digging in where you're gonna cut the hair shorter than the line of the skin, which causes ingrown hairs. So if that's the type of face you have and skin you have, this is gonna be your choice. If you like feedback, control, just a beautiful experience, and you don't have the sensitive skin, you don't have the irritation, you're gonna wanna go with your Manscaped Plow 2.0. Now the blades also have something to do with it. You can put a more aggressive blade in this bevel, but just the way it's designed, look at how much blade is exposed comparatively. Now for me, if I had to pick one and just use one, I think I'm going with Manscaped, guys. It just gave me a better zen feel, lots of feedback, really nice balance to it, this beautiful matte black. It's just my type of razor. I'm not kicking the bevel off to the corner. I'm not kicking it out of the bed. It's nice to have in your shave den. But for my money today, Manscaped Plow 2.0. Beautiful. Now I've put the cold water on my face close the pores, get ready for the aftershave. And today we're gonna to be using Harry's Post Shave Mist. It's a little spritz, close your eyes, and you spritz it on. <sighs> Dries pretty quickly, gets tacky. Sort of like this show, tacky. It's a low budget show, guys. And then the final piece of the puzzle since I am keeping the goatee for a while for my man, I money. I'm gonna go with some beard oil, a message from the Duke. I put this on every time I wash my face. A little beard oil goes a long way. A couple of drops is all you really need, especially with short stubble. Burn that in or work that in or warm that into my fingers. And I'm just putting it into the skin. It's really not for the whiskers as much as it is for the skin under. As the hair gets longer, you'll be able to really pull that hair up and put this under. But what the beard oil will do is it will help hydrate the skin, condition it, keep it from getting dry and flaky so you don't have that itch. If you're like me, guys, 
seven days without beard oil when you're first growing in a beard or a mustache or a goatee and you're ready to shave it. But with beard oil and some other products I'll be showing you, you're ready to manage that itch. So that's it for the shave. Now let's take a look at the unboxing of these two great razors. First off, here's the bevel shave system, their double-edged razor. It's a beautiful package and a beautiful razor. And the Manscaped Plow 2.0. And as you can see, they're very similar, but yet very different. I love the, the looks of this plow and that midnight black finish and this beautiful chrome bevel razor is what initially attracted me to these two but guys after the shave they were very similar in providing a smooth shave a unique shave and a unique experience and i thought i'd compare them on this quick video today now, what I like about both of them, past the packaging, guys, is the overall attention to detail in the design. I'm going to take them out. I'll load them up. And then we'll give them both a go. Head to head. Now, first off, this Manscaped razor. I love the stamp in the metal. Very simple. Again, this matte black, I call it midnight black. And look at the knurling here on the bottom. Long handle, which I enjoy. And a thin handle. Great balancing to this razor, guys. So I'm gonna open it up and I'll load it up with the, the blade from Manscaped that came with the package. They're called Platinum Double Edge Blades. We'll set that aside. See, there's a lot of bend on that blade. And a lot of blade. Now we'll take the bevel out. Now this beautiful long handle razor has a little bit more heft to it and is weighted more toward the top end or the head, but very nicely balanced as well. Again, you have that bevel stamp, which is nice. And again, you see this pretty dramatic curve. And you'll see that when I add the blade. These are not branded. Very nice. So here's the head-to-head -head comparison. Pretty much the same length. Close in weight. As I hold them together, I just feel that this, the bevel is a little bit more top heavy. But both meticulously crafted. Pieces of art, essentially.
All right, guys, either way, if you're going with the Bevel or the Manscaped Plow 2.0, you're in good shape. I want to thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time, which will probably be like tomorrow or the next day. But in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. And remember, guys, most of the products, if not all of them, that I feature in this video, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can have them delivered straight to you from the fine folks at Amazon. They'll come right to your door and you'll be getting something nice for you and giving something nice to me and the CMO. And you know, guys, I call that a win-win. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Roll the music.